Hi guys, Jamsview here. Welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, we will do simple interior bedroom rendering. We will combine four images to stimulate a lighting transition, like this. I will put the download link in the description below. Ok then, let's start. First thing first, import the downloaded file. Then we are going to create our camera view, to do this. Go to media, create image. Click more, camera settings. Click format, change it to 4K. Go back to image 1. Focal length around 30. Parallelism on. Near clipping value around 2.5. For rendering parameters, path tracer on, samples per pixel 500, max bounce 12, aliasing filtering 2. We need to hide one layer before we set up our lighting parameters so it will not block the lights coming from our HDRI map. For lighting settings, go to environment and choose backdrop HDRI. Put ambient value to 5, exposure value to 2. Click backdrop HDRI and change intensity to 2 and size value to 200. We need to change our HDRI map to sunset scene. I will put the download link for the HDRI map. Rotate HDRI map until cast lights into our scene. Change height offset to negative 3.6. Change also white balance value to 7500. After that we are going to edit our materials. For the wooden materials just change reflection value between 60 to 70 percent. Apply clear glass material for the window glass. For the window frame, change reflection value to 90 percent and adjust color more to black. For curtain material just put reflection around 15 percent. Bookshelves reflection value around 65 percent. All reflected materials just play with the reflection value between 80 to 90 percent. For the ceiling materials, go to Quixel Megascan Library. Under Surfaces look concrete and click Smooth. Select Smooth Concrete Wall and change reflection value to 65%. See Preview. Good. If you find similar situation like this, we need to edit the materials and save as PNG map. To do this, open you Photoshop. Open the leaf materials, select the black background, then delete. Save as PNG file. Now we can replace the leaf material with leaf PNG file. After replacing the leaf material just make sure that the opacity mask is on. 
thus continue to add some reflection to the remaining materials. For the other plants just do the same procedure for creating a PNG file to replace the leaf material. For this one, there is a mask file, so it's easier to select the leaf maps only. After creating a new PNG leaf material, just replace the old leaf material. Don't mind this wide edges in the leaf material, it will disappear once you activate the path tracer on. Let's continue editing some of the materials. For the side chair, apply bronze material for the metallic part of the chair. Change the color and make it more darker. Change the fabric material of the chair. Under fabric material section, look for leather backside. We're going to change also some of the bed materials. Use plain wood fabric for the bed mattress. For the bed skirt use plain wool fabric. Before we render our first image, we need to check first our rendering parameters. Under camera settings, go to visual effects. Look for line light. OK, let's render our first image. Now that we rendered our first image, we need to create our next scene adding some lights to it. Now duplicate our first image. After that we are going to change the material in our pin lights, adding some glow to it. To do this, use the dropper icon and click into the pin lights. Click settings and change value for glow around 10. Do the same procedure for the rest of the glowing materials. After adding some glow to our materials, we need to put some spotlights into the pin lights. Use any spotlights from the library.
Turn on shadow. Attenuation around 2.5 and intensity 5. Copy spotlights to the other pin lights. You might also copy some spotlights around the bedroom to have more brightness around the room. Use omnidirection light for the table lamp in the side of the bed. Shadow on, intensity 2, attenuation around 2, color 5000K. Now, render the second image. Now for the third scene, we're going to add more lights. Go lights and select area light. Adjust width around 0 0.2. Intensity 10. Place the area light properly. Rotate area light to 180 degrees. Let's see preview. I think we need to increase intensity of the area light. Adjust intensity to 20. Change also attenuation value to 3 meters. Now, we need some cove lighting into the ceiling, to do this. Copy area lights and place it in the ceiling. Change color around 6000 and intensity to 20. Adjust also the length around 4 meters. Now duplicate area lights to the remaining corner.
Now that the third scene is done, we need to duplicate second image to create our third image. Just make sure to hide some layers in the second image so it will not be the same in our third image. For our fourth scene, we're going to add some interior lighting in the dressing room. Create first fluorescent light bulb using cylinder object from the library. Scale cylinder approximately to fit to object. Duplicate cylinder. Add glow to it around 50. After adding all of the fluorescent light bulb in the closet, put some pin lights in the dressing area.
Add some spotlights. Intensity 10. Now we need to create the fourth image. Just turn off all of the lighting in the dressing room in the image 3. Don't forget to click refresh icon so it will update the scene. You may change your spotlight intensity value base from the overall scene. Just make sure not to overexpose the scene. Let's add some neon lights inside to closet to have more brightness. Shadow on and length around 1 meter. Intensity 5. Copy neon lights and place it in each fluorescent light bulb. Now render each image. You can use any video editing software to compile the four images and convert it into video. That's all guys. If you are new to this channel, please do support my channel by hitting that like button, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.